So yesterday I uploaded a video called the most confusing Roblox drama ever and in that video I basically just talked about a situation that took place over on Twitter regarding a UGC creator and a very new game on Roblox that appears to have risen to quite a large level of popularity within barely a few days of existing. We can get into the specific statistics in just a few short moments but basically what happened yesterday was the game on Roblox known as as Imposter had been using a UGC accessory called the Diver Oxygen Tank on the default characters in the game and the creator of that accessory was not very happy about it because the creators of the game did not ask for permission to do that. The reason that all of that was super confusing to me is because that's the first time I've ever seen someone react that way towards a game using their UGC item and this UGC developer had absolutely every right to be upset about that happening but I personally along with many other people it seems like just didn't realize that asking for permission to use a UGC accessory in a game is something that needs to be done. Both sides of that drama eventually sorted itself out because the creators of the game contacted the creator of the UGC accessory and all ended well for both of them but even after it all ended and got resolved I noticed that reactions from bystanders were very mixed and it was probably split almost perfectly 50-50. Some people agreed that the games should ask for permission to actually use the UGC accessories in their game which is technically right because that's supposedly the way that Roblox works but surprisingly equally as many people seem to think that it just doesn't make sense for the UGC creators to be expecting permission for such a thing and that they should not be getting upset or angry over something like this. But no matter what people think, either way it just doesn't matter because apparently Roblox gives all ownership rights to the UGC creators for their own creations which makes sense now that I have had time to process all of the information but since it's such a new concept to us we just really didn't know or understand it to begin with. But now let's talk about exactly what Impostor is and the whole reason it's worthy of its very own video because like I said yesterday we kind of have a lot to cover. Hello there, please make sure to leave a like on this video and you will become my favourite person in the whole entire world. And of course please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because we are almost just 1k away from 270,000 subscribers. So the first thing I think we need to talk about is the fact that Impostor is a new game on Roblox and when I say new I mean it's very new as in it was created just five days ago and hundreds of people probably even thousands have stopped at nothing to make sure they get out there and hop on board with calling Imposter a clone or a copy of the popular game outside of Roblox known as Among Us. And I think everyone this time around is being far more critical and on edge when it comes to something that may be ripping off another the game purely because we just went through that whole situation with drop blocks and slip blocks and countless other Fall Guys clones and copies but I'm pretty sure I have mentioned before that this time it's far more obvious when it comes to the goals of the developers because Fall Guys clones started appearing a few days after that game released whereas Among Us is now a game that released two years ago but it only just started getting extremely popular. You know is it really that much of a coincidence? that these developers on Roblox have started creating copies of the game the second it grows to be as popular as it currently is right now. But going back to Imposter because I just want to talk about the exact numbers and statistics that it has achieved in its short five day lifespan because around two days ago the game had just begun to slowly creep upwards and was hitting a constant 10,000 players all playing at the same time whereas for the last two days I literally haven't seen it drop below 40,000 players with it currently sitting at over 50,000 players right now. However the most insane part of these numbers is the amount of total overall visits that the game has because just yesterday when I was recording my video I saw that it had just surpassed 
2 million visits in total, which is obviously insane on its own. To reach over 2 million visits just four days after you create your game is overwhelmingly massive, but it's nothing compared to the now almost 9 million visits that the game is currently sitting at right this very second. This means that Impostor gained almost 7 million visits in the last 24 hours, and I just, I can't even begin to understand how this has happened or how that's even possible but perhaps we need to remember that not all visits will be people just playing the game because it looks like it could be genuinely enjoyable. Now, I believe the word is spreading around about the game quite literally like wildfire, mainly because of everyone comparing it to Among Us and everyone saying that they are copying Among Us. And I mean, even the game itself says inspired by Among Us in the description. So I guess what else are people supposed to think? I did play the game for myself just just to see what it was like and just how similar it actually is to Among Us and obviously to compare the two I needed to play Among Us. So I took my three minute playtime on Among Us and decided it was time that I actually give the game a chance and so now with my playtime being two hours just from today alone I can confidently say that I personally do not see Impostor on Roblox as a direct clone of Among Us. For sure, 100% absolutely the game is heavily inspired by Among Us and they even mention that in their official description of the game so that's not even something that they are trying to hide and something that no one should ever try to hide because inspiration is a wonderful thing and it's something that exists absolutely everywhere and with everything no matter where you look. Imposter does have you complete tasks if you're selected to be innocent and you basically just get to walk around the map and complete those tasks whilst the murderers are out there doing their thing or if you see something suspicious you can go ahead and start up an emergency meeting which results in the same discussion starting and ending up with someone flying away from the spaceship or if you don't get chosen to be innocent and you actually get chosen to be the impostor that's basically like when you get the role of murderer in murder mystery 2 or any game similar to that you get given fake tasks so that you can pretend to complete those and seem as innocent as you possibly can all whilst you have to be walking around the map and completing your real task of killing off the innocent players in the game. So all of what I just mentioned happens in the real game Among Us. So in the sense that Impostor copied Among Us, I'm gonna have to heavily agree with that one. But when people call something a copy and when people call something a clone, I think it's kind of easy to mix those words in together when they really possess quite different meanings. You guys know I'm about to say but I will always think that copying is a good thing and taking inspiration is an insanely great thing but straight up ripping something off is where I think the line needs to be drawn but in this case I do not think that Impostor is directly ripping off Among Us. Inspiration has clearly been taken but the game looks incredibly different and you know I think it's safe to say that genuine effort has been put into this game to make it that much different from Among Us. But anyway, when you guys think of Impostor on Roblox and obviously everyone calling it an Among Us clone. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.